if your type cover on your Microsoft Surface is no longer working and you've installed the firmware, you've installed all the drivers, you've enabled it in the UFI BIOS, you've also tested it with another type cover, you might want to watch this video and see whether you've got the same problem that I had. I hope this video helps and if it does please like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. Now make sure that the battery is completely dead so what you can do is turn it on make sure there is no power cable connected to it and you will see this icon the battery icon if you keep seeing it it means there's still a little bit of battery left so what you need to do is you need to leave it off don't charge it and leave it on off overnight and this is what you need to do the next morning i'm going to try to turn that on now and it's not turning on i'm pressing the power button there's no charge in the battery. I'm gonna connect the power cable. And here we go. This is magnetic, so you hear a little click and the light will go on, just like that. I'm gonna turn it on now. And you will see the touch type cover go on, the backlight, as you can see here. And if you press the function key, you will see the light going on and off. I'm just gonna let Windows start and then you will see that the touchpad is also working so we know that definitely that the keyboard or the type cover is actually working there's nothing wrong with it but for some reason it doesn't come on if you shut it down and restart it i'll show you that later on so just confirming the function key button you can see the led light goes on and off so we know that it's working okay so now now I'll show you how much battery is left in the laptop. So let me show you right now. So if you click on the battery icon, 0%. So that confirms that I left it running overnight. It's fully discharged. And then this morning I turned it on. So let me show you what happens now. I'm going to restart it. And when it's restarting, the top cover still works so here we go the lights is still on pressing the function button the LED light is also on so let's just confirm that the touchpad is also working so when you see that the the backlight on the top cover is on you know that it's working okay I'm just gonna move the mouse now and it works and let me show you what happens when I shut it down and then turn it back on. This is a problem that I think a lot of people are having. And there's no real solution that I've managed to work out. So if anyone out there knows the actual solution to this, let me know, reach out, and then I'll, pro I'll share this solution to everyone else. Okay, so I've shut it down here. Completely shut down. Going to turn it on. Press the power button. So hold on to the power button and it should come on there we go and then so you can see right now the backlight on the top cover is not turning on the function LED light is also not on not working so for some reason when you shut it down and you turn it back on after you've let it, the battery drain and you're charging it for some reason the top cover does not work at all The final test, let's see if the touchpad works. And let's try the touchpad. And it's not working. None of the keys are working. And this is the problem. The touch screen still works. And that's about it. So if anyone out there has a solution to this, please let me know and reach out. Hopefully this video may have helped some of you out there. If you did, please give a like and subscribe.